Welcome to Hoops IQ. I'm your host, Coach Novak, and today we're looking at this guy, Shea Gilgis Alexander, and we're trying to figure out. I want to know, I'm curious about how this guy can play such a slow, methodical game and still score over 30. He's slowly becoming one of the best players in the NBA, but he's sneaking up on everybody, very similar to the way he actually plays. So let's break it down and figure out exactly how he does this game after game and is becoming one of the NBA's biggest stars. So as I started breaking down SGA's film over and over, watching him move, watching him play, studying all the mannerisms, the one thing that sticks out to me the most is the way he keeps his chin and head up, his body straight, always in a stable position. So even when he's making a strong move, a dribble move, attacking move, step backs, his body is in balance. And so what he does is just drops his hips very effectively, and you'll see that right here. So he goes to do this step back. Watch as he catches here, he's setting up a step back, right? And he goes into the step back and he drops in like this. Now, when most players do it, they attack downhill, they put their head forward, leaning forward, body is bent, and what he does is all straight. His chin's up the whole time, and he's just in this position ready to shoot the entire time he's in the step back. Now, as he does it, watch. Look at how his frame is in line the entire time. And so then when he shoots, it's the same line again. Watch when he catches right here. He's in already in line to shoot. Nothing is changing about this. All he does is take this dribble forward, hard dribble forward, which makes the defender take one little step back, and then he's still in that same balance up into his shot. And nothing fades away. There's no out of balance at all in this. Boom, boom, up. It's incredible the way he has such control over his body. And that goes the same when he does his drives. The body control is amazing and it's very detailed. He's able to slow down and be under control and then explode as well, but he does that through balance. Let's look at another clip. See now, I really like plays like this where he gets this kick out to the corner and now off of this, he's gonna go ahead and make this dribble move to the middle. Now most players will make this same move. They'll catch, jab, get to this middle spot, but notice how he slows down and begins to read the defense. He doesn't need to do it at lightning quick speed, the hesitation and the slow dribble allows the defense to start collapsing in and then he can read what to do next. And in this case, he slows down, he reads the D. You have literally all five defenders here in the paint. He picks up with two hands on two feet and makes a strong pass across. He's not out of control. Let's go back and look at it. He's not out of control here. Watch him sit corner. Boom, nice and easy. Okay, I'm just gonna read what happens and make the right pass. So the vision along with the slow dribble in between keeps everybody off balance. Now, when he wants to attack, he can make that same move to the middle. He has his chest up, his chin up, and he gets here and does this little hesitation and he can then go right up into a layup. He can then go right into his jump shot. Having multiple ways to attack from that position makes him so effective. The more they key in on his drives and look for him to drive and score, and they know that, he comes off of these screens and he just basically jogs it downhill, and then he does a great job getting into that same look every time with that left foot forward, right hand pound dribble, stable body, stable base, then he's able to just see the court and make the right pass. Right here off of the screen, look at him just walking downhill, and then he jumps into that boom, and he's hitting the right pass. He's just reading the defense, slowing it down a little bit so that he can actually read what's going on. If you think about younger players, and they drive to the basket, as soon as they get by the one man, they're 100% going at the basket. So if you think about this, if they would just slow down and be more under control with the ball, they would have more time to think about, is that guy coming to help? Is he gonna step in front? Is he taking a charge? Where can I go next? Instead of being out of control, trying to get to the rim immediately. You'll have time to relax, understand what to do next, and make the right reads. Now the key in this is that you have to pound the ball. So it's very important to be able to go from chilling out with the ball, attacking, and then it's a pound as you come through. Even though your body isn't moving as fast, the ball still needs to be pound hard. Because when you come in and you start to relax your body and walk through the lane, right, essentially, if you aren't using the same strength in your dribble, then all of a sudden you're gonna have little poke outs, a little bump will get you off balance, you'll lose the ball. This is a strong way to play. So even into a finish like this one, where he's gonna attack hard and you'll 
see him get downhill here into a strong dribble. He's going, oh, the opening is there. Bang, bang, I'm gonna get through it. So two strong dribbles to get through it. And then it's just long, controlled finish. Long, controlled finish. Again, he's gonna bang through this, boom, hard. One, two, long, controlled finish. The next thing that I noticed the most is that he understands how to use his body give bumps without pushing off. And in this example here, he comes off a ball screen, he's gonna attack the big downhill, he gives him the nice hesitation, gets the big a little off balance, attacks him downhill, now he's got him on his hip. So all he has to do when you're hip to hip and you have your hip into the defender's body attacking the basket, all he has to do is give this bump. Now this arm right here just can't extend. So when he's in here, you see everything in his body is leaning in here, making that bump effective, look where the ball position is. Ball still way outside while he's bumping. It's still being made on the, he's keeping his dribble as he's bumping outside. As he's bumping inside, he's continuing his dribble. This allows him to bump and then get into his finish. So there's the bump. Nothing really comes out. You don't see that chicken wing arm popping out here. It stayed inside. He's able to get away with that bump. Look at all this space he has now. And then he can gather and go up strong, right? And it's nearly impossible for bigs to go from getting bumped back into their jump. That pogo stick type jump is nearly impossible. You wanna be able to get into a nice one, two to jump, but these guys are getting bumped off their spot and then having to go try and reach up and get that block. It's really difficult to defend. This is an excellent, excellent move using your body effectively. So here Shea goes into a tween pull, tween pull shot. Now I want you to look at the balance when he goes into this. He knows he's shooting this the whole way. As he does this move, watch his body stay in balance the entire time. Here it is, nothing changes about this. The only thing that happens is his legs actually get wider. And when your legs get wider, your hips drop. So his legs get wide as he jabs through with the tween, he's jabbing through. But even when I'm doing it here, my back is leaning forward. He does a great job keeping his chest up, his chin up. This allows him to get right into his shot more effectively. Look how this stays perfectly straight as he pulls back. Nothing has changed, nothing has changed, nothing has changed. And that is how to effectively hit these shots over and over. Great balance. He's also excellent at recognizing when to body someone and when to spin move into the counter. So this counter move, he drives to his right, and you see when defense is playing effectively, don't panic, don't get out of control, you don't have to flop around. This is great D. The man slid in front of him, hit chest to chest, right? Chest to shoulder here in this case. But as Shea hits him with his shoulder this far away from the basket, he's gonna go immediately into his favorite spin move. So it's just a spin with the dribble. So boom, continuing the dribble, not picking it up. And this guy played great D, but it's not a charge. It's not a charge because Shea didn't go through him. He's now spinning around him, going into the finish. Look at this again. Gets to the spot, okay, you're gonna stop me, good D, I'm gonna spin it back. I'm gonna be smarter and play a little bit slower and more under control than you can. Whether you cut me off, I'm gonna spin back. If you don't keep up with me, I'm gonna bump you and get into my jumper or bump you into a finish. You really don't have any good option as a defender against him. Because look, even on this possession, now he actually gets past him, right? He gets past the defender, defender's now on his hip, that's where he wants him, he says, okay, now I got you on my hip, I'm forcing you outside, defender's doing a good job keeping him out of the paint. So he thinks he's done his job. Now Shea's gonna go into that little bump, step back, Again, his body angle and balance are perfect. He's not leaning over, his face isn't pushing into the defender. Of course, he's on balance and he understands exactly what he's trying to get to in this step back. And there it is, getting into the step back and able to rotate his body into that shot, just beautiful. On this attack, you see Shea uses a great in and out dribble, gets his defender off balance right here, 
in and out, gets his defender a little off balance, and that's all he needs is side-by-side -side hip action, and then he's able to swipe the defender's arm through to get to his finish. Now look, as he makes this move downhill, look at this, in and out, boom, in and out, and now we're side-by-side. Now as he attacks it, you'll notice this right arm of his goes ahead and swipes the defender's hand down, gets that out of the way. Look at his hand has to now fly up. He did have a hand on the hip, but as soon as he swipes through, boom, that hand goes flying up and that gives him that extra edge to get through. He tries to put the other hand on him, but now he uses his body angle. It's like Tai Chi, when they push on here, he pushes you here, you actually go with the flow of it and you continue to drive through. That makes it very hard to defend. Boom, gets through that and finishes. So this was kind of cool. I see this play, they actually got him right here to his spot, which was interesting. I don't see this a ton, but they put him right here in this spot on the elbow so that he can go to work. Now look at the defenders actually leaning on him. So when you have a defender that leans on you, don't lean back. It gives them more power to lean more into you and throws you off balance. Instead, he's gonna get his space back. Put your foot right between their legs, get your head down and protect the ball. However, watch how he keeps his chin up. A lot of guys will look down, right? They'll be stuck down like this and can't see what's happening. So watch how he keeps his head up. Look, his back is straight down, but his face is actually facing forward. His chin is up. And when you have your chin up like that, you can make any move you want. You can read the defense a lot easier. He's always got his chin up. And this makes it really tough on defenders. It keeps him on balance at all times. So as he goes into this move, he's able to go right into his pull-up, go right through this arm, which gets ripped through, right? That's a foul if he keeps the arm there. So he gets right through that into his pull-up. So I actually love this one. I love how he reads the defense here. As he brings up the ball here, he sees open space. And I love how he reads defenses. So he knows the open spaces to the middle here. He's being forced a little bit outside. There's help in the corner. He wants to get back to the middle. So look at him get back to the middle. As he goes middle here, look how the help defense comes. Now a lot of guys will go through this help defense. They'll try and take the extra dribble and pound through. But this guy's gonna be reaching in on you. Also, defender's playing pretty solid D. And actually Shea's a little bit lower and maybe a little bit more out of control than he normally is. Maybe he's already in the spin move. But that's what he does. He counters this into the spin move. Getting into this spin move, he's straight up and down. So then he's already in his gather as he gets this spin move. Look how wide his feet are. Very important when you're making this type of move because you can go from the spin and if you're really wide with your feet and long like he is obviously, you're gonna get more space. So he's able to get that next foot all the way down into the paint and that's what gives him space to get into the jumper. So here it is, hard downhill, bang in, Right, look at the defender, how deep he is now in the paint. He's getting bumped back, trying to swipe down, and SGA is spinning into something that's very under control and balanced, and he's gonna go straight up. Boom. What's crazy is a lot of times these defenders actually do a great job against them, but he understands how to counter and stay under control. In this situation, he makes some great moves, and defense does a great job here, keeping him out of the lane, and you see Shea's actually got his arm up because he's feeling a lot of pressure from this D. But instead of going against it and pushing off, he goes into this Euro step. He does an amazing job ripping the ball over the top, and you don't see guys do it this well, this effective. Look how high above his head the ball is and he rips it across to his right side. Defense does even better reading that, anticipating it, getting their body in front so that he can't get into his Euro. So what does he counter that with? Then he goes into, okay, I'm gonna bump you off of that and just do a floater. So instead of going across to finish, he goes across, gets bumped, and stays with ball up high and goes right into his finish. That's unstoppable. That's what I mean by counter, counter, counter. Like he's reading the defense, he's taking what happens and using it against them. You're gonna stop me here, I'm gonna go up top here. You're gonna stop me here, I'm gonna Euro across. You're gonna stop me here, I'm gonna bump, step back. I'm gonna spin move. He has a counter to every one of their defenses. So if you get into an ISO situation where you're driving, 
Slow down, read the defense, use your body effectively, train these things over and over, train the counters so that you're prepared for anything in game. A lot of times you'll only train on one specific move, but be ready for the defense to actually cut that off and have a counter to it. That's what Shea does extremely well, and that's why he's becoming one of the best in the league. This has been Hoops IQ. I'm your host, Coach Novak. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos like this.